Good evening, Builder. Mr. Bigglesworth, I mean, Mr. Boba, has been expecting you. It seems like you want to bring the world of tanks into the real world by building the 3D metal models from Metal Time. These are a little bit different than what we're used to, and as you can see, this one's a little feisty for them. What tricky bits are we going to expect in this build? What tools are we going to need? And will it actually all go together? We, we, we kind of know because it's right here, but you're going to see the things we're going to find out in this video. Uh, let's go back in time and uh, start this whole thing and, and, and see how it all began. Just like that, we are off to the races building the Metal Time Tog 2. As you can see, this metal is pretty interesting to work with, and we really didn't even need to use our nippers like we normally do to get our parts out. We just used our trusty fingers. Typically, this would completely warp our pieces, but in this case here, it actually worked with us. So this metal is quite unique. Some tools that you might want to consider when building with this particular kit are your handy dandy pliers. That's right, these pliers are perfect for shaping the majority of our pieces and are great because they have a lot of control that you wouldn't normally see. I don't typically use pliers that often when it comes to building 3D metal models, but with this particular model, I have to say these were king. But just because I'm singing the love of the pliers does not mean that our handy dandy tweezers aren't useful for this build, but not necessarily in the way that we are normally used to using them. I'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later though. And finally, for some of our longer pieces, you might want to use your table or a tool of some kind, kind of like our Bender 1.0 tool. Yes, this is a tool that we've created here on the show and is available in our store and is perfect for bending these kinds of metal models just like this. It's currently sold out in our show and we're going to be doing a massive upgrade on this soon. So I'm actually really excited to be sharing the original one with you here, but this is a perfect little tool for shaping a lot of these bigger pieces that we encountered inside of this build. Okay, that's pretty much it for our tools. Now, let's get back to the build, shall we? Boxes, boxes, and more boxes is what we could be saying when it comes to this kit, because really the majority of it is built up of these as you've seen already. However, there are some unique things that decided to include in this kit, and one of them happens to be that little turret there. With most of the 3D metal models that I've built that happen to be tanks, the turrets don't actually move at all, they're all fixed. Even though this is a really simplistic model, I love how the Metal Time team decided to go ahead and include a moving turret. Yes, it's really simplistic, but still, it's a really cool feature and one that goes together extremely easily. As we come to the completion of our first page, one thing you might have noticed when it comes to our instructions, there's nothing telling you how to actually bend or twist our tabs. 
this can be a little bit of a problem, especially when it comes to combining our pieces together. You need to pay a little bit of attention to see if any of these tabs are gonna get in the way. And if they do, just make sure you either bend and twist them slightly out of the way. I know that sounds simplistic, but when you're actually putting it together, it can cause a whole bunch of scratches. So just pay a little bit closer attention so you don't mess up that nice mirror finish. All right, now we're entering the difficult part of our TOG 2, and that's the lower half and the track area. Both of these have a lot of laser etching detail, and if we're not careful, we can actually bend the detail instead of that little line that we were trying to do. Now, in my particular case, I used pliers the first time to try to do this, and it made everything really warpy and wavy. Don't be me, be better. And instead, use a tool that we've used a thousand times before in a little bit of a different way. What am I talking about? Our good old friend tweezers. These guys right here are perfect normally for shaping all of our pieces and bending and twisting our tabs. But in this particular case, when it comes to these builds, they're great for bending some of the longer pieces that we have to form. All we have to do is insert the metal in between our tweezers and then use the long edge to get a perfect shaping. Now you might have to go to both sides of the part to get the shapes, but I promise you this is a way simpler and easier way to form some of these longer pieces without misshaping any of that laser etch detail. Now let's finish up this build. And boom, there we have it. The Metal Time Workshop World of Tanks Tog 2 in all of its glory. This build was very simple to put together. It's mainly just a whole bunch of boxes. And I have to say that if you've never built a 3D metal model before, this might be a great place to start, especially if you're a fan of World of Tanks and love tanks in general. Yes, the majority of the detail is laser etched here. And yes, it has to be said, it's a lot less detailed than other 3D metal models in the market. However, those ones usually have fixed turrets and guess what? This one moves. So yeah, one up on metal time again. 
the simplicity of this build really does make it easy for pretty much anyone out there to pick one of these up and build it. And the metal itself is different enough from other 3D metal model makers on the market that really makes this model unique in its own ways. I like the metal, it is very interesting to work with, and I'm kind of curious to see what metal time is going to come out with in the future when it comes to these smaller builds, especially because these ones are so simple. Are they going to get a little bit more complex? Are they going to add color? I guess we're going to see in the future. All right, Groovers, that brings to the end of our episode. I had a really good time building the TOG2 with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well. So we have all kinds of really cool content coming on in the future, and I would love to have you there. Thank you very much for Metal Time to sending this to me to check out and show you guys. And if you guys are building this along with me in our full build video, make sure you leave a comment there to let you know that you came here first. That'd be kind of cool. Until next time, keep building. All right, now to add this to our world domination collection. <laughs>